And we're back. Before I introduce our next guest, I need to give you just a few facts, a few things you need to be aware of. It was on Easter Monday in 1916, uh, that, that was also April 24th, uh, that a small group of Irish rebels, including poets and teachers and actors and workers, took on the might and, and the strength of the British Empire. Uh, although defeated militarily, the men and women of the Easter Rising, as that was later to be called, would soon win a moral victory, which led to the creation of an independent Irish state. Now, we are about to run a documentary here uh, on uh, Roger State Public Television. It airs this coming Sunday at 7 p.m., and we have just a little bit of a, uh, to show you. And Emily, if you'd go ahead and roll that, we'll come back and meet the guest. Easter Monday, April 1916. A small band of rebels gathers in Dublin, intent on establishing an independent Irish Republic and bringing about an end to 700 years of British rule. Their actions will change the course of Irish history, and their vision will in time inspire freedom movements around the world. This rebellion will become a defining event in Irish history. Now that is segment one. There are three segments all together. And uh, here to talk about actually the revolution itself and the, the rebellion, I should say, is our guest today, Tim Wantland with the AOH, which is? Ancient Order of Hibernians. Of which you are? I'm the president of the Bobby Sands Division, which is the local chapter here in beautiful northeastern Oklahoma. How does this play a role? Well, the Ancient Order of Hibernians is a uh, Irish Catholic fraternal organization that's been around since the 1500s, and it was created like most fraternal organizations for the protection of Irish people, both in Ireland and then later in the United States when the Irish immigrants came over here in the mid-1800s. And uh, we are heavily involved in Irish history and culture, plus the unity of Ireland itself, the, the six counties that are left from the results of this 1916 uprising. Can I ask you a silly question? Absolutely. I mean, I've, I've wanted to ask somebody this question who has knowledge of it for years. Is it true there are no snakes in Ireland? <laughs> well, <coughs> that's a whole other segment, but I will tell you that, that the snakes in Ireland is simply a metaphor for the pagans who St. Patrick <laughs> supposedly uh, ch changed to Christians when he came over. I know. I just I, I've always wanted it. to take a snake to the, and drop it on Ireland, see if it slithers out to the sea myself. <laughs> so. Curious, curious state of affairs. But I, I love your country as little as I know about it. Everything I've heard about it, the, the, the lore and everything I've read about the people is so inviting. It makes one want to go mm -hmm. more than anything else. Now, have you seen the documentary we're about to air? No, I have not seen it. I'm looking forward to it very much, though. Well, it will be followed by two others right. uh, of equal length, and we're very excited to be able to bring it uh, to the programming here at Rogers State. It's the Irish Rebellion, 1916. And those are the dates, April 24th, 25th, and 26th, 7 o'clock for each segment. If you can't watch it as it airs, record it, if at all possible. Uh, i got to tell you, it not only explains a lot about Ireland and how it severed connections with Britain, or eventually did, but it also gives you a lot of background history that you don't get uh, on a regular basis. And am I right in, in, in a saying that we really don't get enough Irish history. That, that's true, like all history, there's always, it's always more complicated than you think it is. There's more uh, different angles to it than, than one can talk about, even with it a three or four hour special as it, this one is too, so. Well, Tim, I wanna thank you for taking time to come sure. in. I wish we had more time to get into that, but I live by a clock. <laughs> I understand. Okay, my friend, and I've gotta get a plug in here, so. You bet. Folks, here we go, it's, it's sh shameless plug time. Uh, on the 24th, the Tulsa chapter of Tim's organization, the Ancient Order, and the Irish Club of Tulsa are hosting a watch party for the premiere and first episode of the uh, 1916 Irish Rebellion, Hour One. And that'll be at the American Legion Post uh, in Tulsa over on East Admiral Place. At 4.30, a presentation by members of both clubs uh, about the history of the uprising and a reading of the uprising declaration which you won't find just anywhere. From six to seven, Irish food available for sale. First part of the series will air promptly at seven. 
So do not fail to take advantage of it. We're out of time. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.